Black, official weight, 130 pounds. His professional record stands at 23 victories, including seven knockouts, and he has two draws. From Salinas, California, the undefeated WBO number one ranked junior lightweight challenger in the world, Eloy the Prince Perez. Officially weighing also at 130 pounds, a perfect professional record. 22 fights, 22 victories, including 18 knockouts from Cincinnati, Ohio. The reigning, defending, undefeated WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Adrian The Problem Browner. Yeah, all time. Good luck to you. Eloy Perez with believe. bad footwork because of a wide. But Roy, a wide stance be a means problem. One. It could be a big problem. Knockout wins. That's not part of his resume. He's been down twice in his career. Broner's never touched the canvas. As we begin round, it'll be interesting to see how Perez deals with the hand speed of Broner early. Yeah, he's never seen nothing like it before. He takes care of a lot of people. He has a lot of people on his back that are depending on him. So he's coming to try to perform for those people who wanted to cry in the fight of me. Yeah, um, you saw that uh, young boy in the ring answer, and the Perez team befriended him as Perez takes a big shot. He's the official belt carrier. Tries to double up the jab, does Perez. Some obvious boxing skills is seen by some as a real boxer, but Roy Ponce de Leon. Has a really good defense with his shoulders and his fighters to hit it. That's the big thing, and he has quick hands and power to go with it. Broner reached and then slipped. Perez waited away from any danger. But Perez took it really good. That's what's surprising. Because he's been real, but he took a good, a good Broner left hook. Now Perez puts together combination. No, not at all. Perez seems very relaxed in there here in round one. Get under that hook. He's trying to load that thing up. That's right. all he's got. Right. All right. How yeah, you feel? Beautiful left hook. He fainted the jab and led with left hook and landed right on the nose. Great punch. And uh, I know it's... I'm fighting a defensive fight, okay? But he took the shot right, very go. good. That was a long left more. hook and landed with some force. Let's go! Let's go! Dean, grab his... Broner landed 10 of his 42 punches in that round. Five of them were powered. I don't like Perez backing up from, from Broner so much because Broner's the longer fighter eventually. Right. And that might not be a good thing for Perez. If this is going to be the problem. Then he's younger than most of them. He's taller than most of them. He, he's a problem, as his nickname is. with some of his power. Perez says it doesn't hurt, but it scored. Good stiff jab from Brown. He's using that jab very good with Brown. Very calm and relaxed right here. This is where you see a little bit of the experience factor when a guy has been in this situation. He's always relaxed even though it's not, not totally controlled yet because he hasn't broken Eloy's will yet. Broner, Broner's able to get that jab and get the range going. Yes, he is. Like I said, a short guy should never position at all times, mentally and physically. But he's a good game fighter, and he came here to give it all he has. He'll take a lot away from this fight. He'll be back. Talk about the learning curve in terms of Broner's boxing skills. And they trade big shots. Matter of fact. Perez hurt on a right to the ear. Trying to fight his way out at the end of round. Hey, oh, well, no talking! No talking! No talking! Listen up! This body is too high for the right hook upstairs. Okay. You got me? So throw the right down low. Okay. And come no, no, back no, with yeah. the left hook. Okay. And get out. He's he brought on the attack. He lands a right hand to the cheek, high on the cheekbone, followed by another right hand. Percent. 
As he was accurate and he hurt Perez as we begin round three. By Perez. He also landed a big left hook late in that round. Well, I like the way Michael Stafford in the corner of Broly after his fighter just had such a big round, yet because he, he was critical of the end of that round because he felt Broner was rushing. It's excited. It could also excite the fighter. Well, one thing we're seeing here is, you know, Perez talked about he was better with his feet. Not as bad with his feet as they think he is. He's wide with it, but, but he can move them. That's exactly right. Pretty flush. Broner. Right hand. Broner also plays defense, Roy, as you pointed out, with his upper body a lot, not needing to always use his legs to move out of range. That's exactly right. He uses his shoulders. As Broner pointed out, heading into the fight, look, this is a junior lightweight who punches like a, and I'm a junior lightweight who punches like a middleweight. Go, 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 go. Well, you know the Double left hand from Broner. Good <laughs> shot. Well, the other problem, straight up to get in there. Yeah, well, he's allowing Broner to stay in punching range because he's stopping right in Broner's punching range. By allowing Broner to come forward or to like that, Broner's double his jab, work double and end. triple, double and triple. And as his corner found out, Broner's his body, and Broner covered up his body pretty well. Yes, he does. And he camouflages very well. He's like he just now. But see that pressure he got on him right now? The pressure of being right there in his face out of being, never been in this class before. Good right hand by Broner. Perez tries to respond at the end of round three. Eloy Perez, someone who yeah, at one point they lived in a trailer with holes in them. And that's the kind of commitment that he has towards his family. Okay, Bob, let me ask you a question. Who do you know that beat Adrian Broner standing right in front of him? And Perez is standing right in front of him for three rounds. Three go, and nothing, go, go, 30 go, go, go. to 27. Back. Broner's not there. Watch that. That's absolutely fantastic the way Broner does it. I love that step to his eyes. Heck, with sweat, blood, and DNA. He's going to wish he didn't have him. Three to nothing, Broner. <laughs> <laughs> And you saw the showmanship of Broner, too, as he got into that. Step around Lynch. Broner and use what he thinks is su his superior footwork and what Broner just demonstrated to him. And like I said, the biggest thing for Broner is he's keeping his pressure on Perez. He's not giving him space. Right there yes, and not he has. something different? Yes, he has, but you don't do that either. But like I told you, this is why I say he'll take some great experience away the from age this fight. Of eight. When he walks to the ring, Kevin Cunningham, who's the lead trainer, nephew, when he's in town, he's like a nephew to me. He's known him since he's a little kid. And he's developing a fan base not only in Cincinnati, but here in St. Louis. Good straight right hand and down goes Perez. And he's not going to make it. Yes, it was. I know Perez is not, doesn't have a lot of knockouts, but he's a skillful, world-class fighter. Broner just did whatever he wanted and knocked him out in spectacular fashion. He's been knocked down. First time he's been stopped. Round number four for Adrian. Roy, pretty impressive. Yeah, very impressive. Great right hand. See the right hand coming straight. He, he faded, got close enough to him, and hit him right down the middle with the right hand. You couldn't ask for a cleaner right, right hand for that, and that's when I saw it coming. And there again, he saw a, a second one behind, almost like in the neck ear area. And that kind of the first one is what did the, that, that right there. That one's what did the damage. Anytime an elite fighter can faint you and get that close to you, possibly anyway. can get out the way of that punch. And Adrian came in rapping, and he the goes problem. out. Broner. Uh, the nine-year-old boy who has been a part of the Perez camp. for the Broner-Perez fight. You take a look at the total punches. Broner, 189 thrown.